One of the useful tools to have in web design is what is called Responsive Web Design Tester, a plugin for Chrome. There may be many others where you can actually select different uh, devices and see how your website will look on it. And that is a useful thing to do for today's web design. For Firefox, there is a default responsive design view. Let's have a look. This is how it looks. You can select different sizes and see how your website uh, performs. This is the full size. These are various tablet sizes and mobile sizes. You can also have a look at how it looks when it is rotated, rotation, rotated view, and uh, you can have a screenshot. So these are very useful tools to have. So you can can download and install. There may be other alternatives, uh, plugins you can experiment with. Right, let us uh, let's add this to Chrome. Yes, add the extension. Responsive design is added to Chrome. That is okay. Now it is added. Let us click on that. Select the device. See, these are all the di all the different devices you can select. And say, for example, how it would look in um, iPad landscape. That's how it looks in iPad landscape. iPhone 5 portrait. That's how it looks. Anyway, this is a very useful tool to have. So uh, you have an idea of what um, what you have to do in your on your site to adjust to different different uh, devices. So good plugin to have. Right, let's move on. Now I'm logged in. I can see the menu items here. And for example, it's, there, is, there is what's called shortcuts. If you are a, an author always creating articles, say for example, many articles, uh, you can create a shortcut. Say for example, add content, article, and this star item here says add to default shortcut. You click, click on that, and now it is added to article. Like that, instead of many clicks, you can add shortcut and so it is easily accessible. You can edit it. Go edit. So this is the article added. You can even move. You can rearrange the items in the menu. Save changes. Now the article is over here. Let's look, let us look at what else is available. Click on the site. You will see there is a, a pencil mark over here. That means uh, that is what is called contextual editing. This is a toggle switch. You can click on that. You see all these different uh, pencil things. That means you can edit on the spot. Say, for example, I want to uh, change this Drupal 2 conference or something else. Click on that. Quick edit. It goes to click on that. Then I, I can say Drupal. Uh, oh, why not Drupal site dot me conference? Why not? So that is the title. You can also edit the body of the on the spot, or you can edit the uh, tags. Say, for example, let's add a tag, say London, comma. So save it. Now here it's all saved. Drupal site me conference. If, it, if you think it is too bothersome, you can switch it off to get a clean look.